Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about herring gulls. Herring gulls are one of the largest species of gulls in the UK, with a wingspan of up to 160 centimeters and growing to around 1.4 kilos in weight. Although they are mainly found in coastal areas, they can also be seen inland, around towns and cities, near rubbish tips, across farmland, and various other water bodies. They are a very noisy species and make a variety of squawks and screeches, but it is their long call that is most recognisable. Adult gulls have light grey backs, white underparts, and black tips to their wings with small white blotches. They have faded pink legs with webbed feet, and their beak is slightly hooked, yellow in colour, with a red spot. Young herring gulls are difficult to separate from other species, but are a similar size to the adults and covered in varying amounts of speckled brown feathers, depending on their age and the season. Just like most other gulls, herring gulls are opportunist feeders and will eat almost anything they can fit down their throats. This includes scraps, carrion, seeds, fruits, eggs, fish, insects and shellfish but they will also take live birds and small mammals if they can catch and overpower them. They will also try to mimic the sound of rain by repeatedly tapping their feet on the grass. This tricks worms and other invertebrates to the surface where they make easy pickings. The herring gull nesting season begins in May when both adults begin to construct a large cup-shaped nest out of vegetation, moss, mud, and in urban areas, litter. Naturally, these nests would be on cliff edges and islands, but most herring gull colonies in the UK are in towns and cities, where the gulls take advantage of our flat roof buildings and the safety they provide from terrestrial predators. These nests will often be built close to other nesting gulls, including those of similar species, such as the lesser black-backed gull. Each pair will lay an average of three speckled olive brown eggs that measure around seven centimeters in length. The pair share the incubation duties and guard the nest site ferociously. If there are any perceived threats, all the nesting gulls take to the air together, swooping at and trying to poo on whatever they see as danger. After 31 days, the eggs hatch and the young, fluffy gray chicks emerge. At first, they stay close to the nest but soon they begin to wander around the nesting site, continuously begging for food from the parents. Over the next 45 to 50 days, the young herring gulls grow fast and soon begin to stretch their wings and attempt their first flights. This doesn't always go to plan and the young gulls often end up on the ground away from their nests, but always under the watchful eye of their parents. Once flight has been perfected, or at least achieved, the young gulls follow their parents for four to six weeks more before they become fully independent. By this time, they are covered in mottled brown feathers, which change bit by bit for the next four years until they get their adult plumage and become sexually mature. There are currently an estimated 740,000 herring gulls in the UK, but they have suffered a decline of 60% in the last few decades, and their numbers continue to fall. This has resulted in a recent tightening of the restrictions on culling this species, and hopefully their numbers will soon stabilise. Herring gulls can be quite long-lived, with an average lifespan of 12 years, and one individual reached a whopping 49 years of age. Well, that's everything you need to know about herring gulls, and that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, then check out one of these other two British wildlife videos and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.